atasnya Nah gitu biar relax, oke? Okay? Okay, so now we're visiting Green School, which is basically a school here in uh, Bali. And um, this is their maker space. Whiteboards, so we like fucking whiteboards. They have tools. <laughs> I'm still filming though. Okay, <laughs> do it. So, the plastic melters actually is uh, over here, I can show you. Uh -huh. They have a lot of tools here. This is a like well equipped so maker space. Almost all of these materials we 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 bought from um, from the company like I think in Europe. Mm -hmm. We have the plastic melters this one. Yeah. This is the plastic melter if I not mistaken. So after that they put the plastic, like the bottle caps, uh -huh. everything, the bottle caps, and it becomes like uh, like a like a liquid, I would say. Does it smell bad? It smells bad. Wow, that can't be healthy. Could be standing um, here. But, uh, but then they turn it into something else. They make a bowl, plate, and rope. Oh, wow. So this is the bottle cap that they turn into something. That's cool. Or like this, a bowl. this is made of bottle cups. That, yes. that is perfect Melting. for soup. <laughs> How I like to eat my borscht. <laughs> and this is rope from the bottle caps. Very cool. Melted. So they melt it here and then yeah. they, the kids do that. First step, first step is they have to like This is pretty cool. Into a plastic shredder. And then it becomes a little bit Plastic bag. This is our uh, recycle center for the trash. Yeah. And it's welcome, Such like it's very open for the neighborhood. Open not just for green school. So anyone can bring their anyone can bring their plastic uh, bags or something like that, their trash, and then they can sort it themselves. Gotcha. That's very cool. They can sort it themselves, and then for the trash that are not in the category, they can put it in the landfill, which is here. This is landfill. Oh, landfill. Yeah, this is Ooh. landfill. So we'll go to landfill. Landfill. This is amazing. And trash. this um, recycle place, also like a treasure for the kids, green school kids. Oh, yeah, yeah. If they want to do arts, something. if they want to do arts, they don't really buy the new materials, but they just use what they can find here. Bottles, the, the cans, everything. Oh, they make soaps? Yes, from used cooking oil. They filter it and then they mix it with potassium hydroxide. Uh huh. And the used cooking oil transform into glycerin. If you know, glycerin is actually the main ingredient of shampoo and soap. Oh. And then the used cooking oil, um, they transform it into something more useful. So uh, after that, they, they can sell it in the farmer's market. Yeah. To um to sustain the projects um That's super cool. yeah financial yeah so and yeah even even he also gets the support from the United Nations mm -hmm. okay. it's really good project it's really great the architect is from Swedish I think it's Swedish architect but and then after he designed the school and then he died this was his last. Kind of yeah. act. The wow. last thing that he, he did. This his is legacy. Yeah, his legacy. And the whole school architecture is made uh, by. Skeleton. No, not a skeleton. This is so cool. something in the way.
This is so fucking dope. I'd go to class here all day, any day. She just told us that people can actually take naps here during class. That's a lap. That's the best school ever. And this architecture is just so fascinating. All right, quick update. Ooh, I can see myself now in the mirror. Yeah, I'm using this to make sure I'm in frame. Quick update for today. We went to the school, the green school, what you saw, incredible place. They've been building that for now 10 years. Um, some really cool people came out of that and um, yeah, really like innovating, like the school system here in Bali. It's cool to see. Now I'm grabbing tuna with like a couple of people from the villa here um just to kind of say i don't know goodbye not really goodbye but just to hang out a bit because tomorrow i'm flying out and i'm not gonna go back to the hustlers villa when i'm back in two weeks in bali so I'm gonna grab some dinner now and uh i think that's about it what are they doing there Brum, brum. Hey. Yeah. yeah, Julian, what's one thing you learned today that's the really valuable? I learned today, it's about the... Uh, how do you say that? The, the, the carte abandonnée, the panier abandonné. What? Abandoned cart. I have no clue what he abandoned just said. Okay. You know when someone reach your cart? Uh-huh. The checkout, you put your, his email address and then you leave. Uh-huh. Roman gave me the idea to improve this process. Uh, How do you feel about I that? I will do that. I learned that today. But I'm checking out this girl. Right. I know those things. Do it. And you? Yeah, Thomas, what about you? What about me? This vlog is about you. Wait, I'm gonna but zoom in, in all it's to your face. You. Okay, now. Close He's up. always making like, super, like close yeah. ups in my face, and it's probably only my nose. No, I can't zoom that fast in. Oh. Please, not something too deep, okay? No, yes. today I learned that it's possible to go from idea to execution in 10 days when you want to transform a room into a co-working space. Thomas, it's you know what deep. I want to tell you? It's too deep. It's too deep. You know what I want to tell you? Dream big. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to miss me, Thomas? Hmm? Are you going to miss me? Oh. I'm going to leave tomorrow. I'm not missing you. <laughs> It's like a vlog section. Yeah, wow. We're not vloggers. Thomas is now becoming a vlogger too. <laughs> Look at him. We're already being obnoxious. That's a good sign. That's how you know you're doing a good job being a vlogger. Wait. No, but for real, are you gonna miss me? <laughs> yeah, what does mean obnoxious though? Obnoxious is like annoying. Like everyone's like, fuck these people. <laughs> We're just walking around like this. Hi. What's up? It's now 11.30 p.m. Going to bed now. Um, plan tomorrow. Tomorrow we're flying to Germany. Back to Germany. So that's going to be a 19 hour travel day. So I'm so super excited about, about that. Um, but I'm flying out in the evening. So we've still got some shit to do tomorrow. And now I'm going to go to bed. So peace out and see you tomorrow. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up Sitting, breathing, doing all the things I hate a lot But why?